So just how cringy is my first YouTube video I ever published? We're gonna find out. I uploaded this over 15 years ago. Warning, there's some language that I will bleep out, but you're gonna get what's being talked about. And also, these are just hijinks from when I was a teenager. It's like an assortment of just randomness. It's a lot of fun. We were just kids who loved skateboarding and went out into the world and filmed random stuff. This is called the funniest montage ever, in parentheses, 720 double flip. Let's go. I'm gonna kick the ceiling. I you stretch up. Alright. This is my old house. This is the house I grew up in. Go. Watch this. Oh! <laughs> Not only did he nail it, we, he, he'd never done this before. I was like, Dude, Garrett, you can jump high. I bet you can kick the ceiling. And yes, this is the same Garrett that you see in my videos these days. Uh, he did it. I, I think first try, I don't know, but he nailed it. Like, listen to the thud. See? It makes a big thud. He kicked it. He kicked the crap out of it. He can still do that to this day, too. It's wild. Okay. That is Brian in his bedroom. And we just used to get stupid ideas. It just rolled. They're like, hey, here's a watermelon. I think it was like going bad. Like it sat in the fridge too long. It was gross. And we were like, let's throw it out the window onto one of our heads. Pretty sure all of us would have done it. But my dude Brian right there was not Brian Ames. Other friend Brian. He was like, yeah, I'll do it. And then Brian Ames threw it at him. This guy. So. This is actually. I own my. That's enough yeah. He just say came. Uh, I guess he so. just. You own he just came and started cursing at us and. uh and I, we kind of gave him some attitude back, but then, like, we talked to him, and he was totally cool. We didn't skate there. We were, like, we were always respectful of, like, of people. If they asked us to leave, we would leave. Unless they got an attitude with us, then we might get an attitude back. But we'd always leave. You know, we didn't, we weren't trying to, like, just completely disobey and be unruly. I don't, yeah, that's me running in, like, skin-tight, short underwear thingies. I don't know. We just watched the, the CKY videos and we were like, let's go do that too. That's pretty much like why this clip existed. But this lady that comes out, look at her. She was not having it. She was mad, but I ran away. That's just a, see that? Like just kick it like the watermelon clip and that. We were like, not a smart idea to kick a newspaper at your camera, but we thought that'd be a funny clip. And then kind of was. Oh, I, I always love this back to the flip. All right, so I'm not, I'm not making fun of deaf children at all. Why that clip exists is because I'm actually deaf in um, my my right ear. I can't hear, I had to think about it for a second. Um, yeah, this ear sucks, this ear's good. Um, so that's just like a little, we put it in the video and, and if anyone knew me, it was like, huh, I get it, Andy's a deaf child, okay. That was so fun. This was like the summer of like carefree teenage years. We found this bridge in our, like kind of near our neighborhood and we used to jump off it and it was like, it was like four, five, feet, six feet deep, and then there was a bunch of mud at the bottom. So if you went too far down, you would just hit mud, and it was gross, but I mean, we were teenagers, we didn't care. It was awesome, it was so much fun jumping off that bridge. Uh, it's probably still there today, I, just, I wouldn't feel safe doing it. All right. <laughs> this isn't that cringy, honestly. Uh, these are all funny clips, maybe, maybe I'm cringy, like enjoying this walk down memory lane, but these kids that got blasted by the water, uh, totally, they asked for it, and my my friends, I wasn't there, but they told me the story. My friends turned around, and like, yeah, we'll, we'll rock, it, rock you with water, and they nailed it. <laughs> Dude, I used to do the splits so often skateboarding. I'm luckier these days. That was my reaction. I often just reacted goofy. Instead of like, I'd slam, and I would just immediately go into like comedy mode. Um, I have a high threshold for pain to this day. Uh, and so a lot of the stuff that looks like it hurt, I just, I was like, I'm not gonna make a joke. Like right now. Not only did I do the splits, but I rode away doing the splits. And also, let's go back to the, the first split. Like what, how did I make that high pitched noise? <laughs> kinda, I can kinda still hit it, okay. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of <laughs> reactive curse words in this. My friend could have died. Like, imagine trying a nose blow on a ledge and the door opens on you, and he just, like, look, he just missed. Like, barely, like, if that would have opened up early, like, he would have hit his face on it going full speed. It would have been bad. Funny enough is that, that the guy that opened the door was our friend that worked at the business. They never cared that we skated there, but, like, he almost gave my friend a trip to the hospital that day. Here's that 720 double flip. I'm wearing a Sylvester Looney Tune shirt. I don't think you can see it. So terrible. 
the worst thing in the world, but I was I was 16. I was so proud of myself that I flipped it and landed on it in some f version that I was like, all right, yeah, I'm claiming it. I did a 720 double flip. Uh, this next clip is, so we found a random couch and that guy all over it. And my friend's like, hey, it'd be funny if I hit it with a car. It was in like a dumpster, like near a dumpster, so no one was using it. And, uh, and then that clip existed. The stupid stuff, we just, whatever idea we got, we filmed. This guy. Send the police over. Yeah. No, you ain't. Want to play Want to tough? Play tough? <laughs> and my and friend right there, he's yeah, like, he's, 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 like literally, he's like, no, we're not playing tough. Like, they were super respectful, this dude. And um, after this was in a skate video, another guy that we knew came over and he was like, dude, that's my uncle. And like, he has like anger issues. Like I'm sure he wasn't even talking to anybody on the the, the walkie talkie. They weren't even skating that day. They were just looking at a spot that was way too big for them to skate. And uh, and he just came and just started like, we got that a lot. I'm sure people, yeah. skateboarders still get it a lot. Just power trip people. Wanna play tough? What were the police gonna do? Like we were just walking through the, the thing, like down down the, the business road of where we lived. We experience that all the time. And if you experience that, just be polite and if you got a crazy person in front of you, just get out of the situation. Be respectful, get out of the situation. Here's... It's like the kick. It's the sequel to the kick. This is hilarious. Just watch it. <laughs> oh my god! What? What? <laughs> I got... Okay, so... Completely a stunt. I knew that was happening. For full... Full transparency. We just... So the kid that pushed me in actually wasn't as small like, or as young as he looked. He was like a couple grades beneath us and just a really short dude. So we did a lot of things thinking it was funny that he looked like such a young kid like that. Like it'd be funny if a kid pushed me like a bigger teenager into the fountain at the mall. But what I didn't like is that like when I got out, I got water everywhere. Like so as an adult, I'm like, I hope no one slipped on that. But we had a whole exit strategy and we had a, like a getaway car at the entrance. And as the guy in black, the other Brian, and me, soaked, are walking out of the mall, somebody beelined to security, and, and they were walking back, and they completely didn't realize that there was a guy soaking wet walking by them. So I was like, oh, doo -doo, doo -doo, and we got out, and we drove away, and we were successful. The, where we were filming was actually like a skate shop in the mall. Uh, that my, my my friend worked at, so it was like mission. It was like Mission Impossible, maybe not too impossible, but we got the job done. I was Tom Cruise that day. Uh, this is another one that I'm sure was inspired by CKY. I did a lot of these. Chair though. right there. Like just for fun. Yeah, I'm just wet. <laughs> There's that that lady. I don't. I think it's just a bad quality, but she looks like she's 115 years old. Okay, I think that was probably the first one I ever filmed. Not that I could have committed to that bit way better. It's a little cringy, right? <laughs> This is, I love this clip so much. Okay, so he does the backside flip, which was great. That was a big backside flip, it was a big flat gap. And then he grabs our younger friend. <laughs> it was so small. I mean, he was a teenager too. Like we were all like in the same skate group. Uh, and he just did the way his body flies. I gotta watch it again. It's like it does a 180 and then he's like, I got time, let's do another 180. I love that clip. Uh, also, he completely knew what was going on. Um, we weren't just throwing a random kid in the pond. Even if I if I have another video saying that it was on purpose, I probably made it just to make people because I thought it would be more exciting in a video. He totally understood what was going on. Uh, he, he he was the only one that we could do it with because he was the only one small enough. We rolled up to the skate spot. He's like, "Here's a puddle. We should do a trick and throw one of ourselves in this." So, uh, hello, Adam. My name is Andy. I don't care who you are. <laughs> just me bored in my apartment. There's a Mean Girls poster back there, by the way, because I used to work at a movie theater, which I think is about to come up. It's just me, like, knowing how to edit. and What am I wearing? That's what I'm walking around my house in? This is amazing. I don't know why this piece of footage is. This It's just our friend right there. <laughs> I got that on tape. <laughs> As an adult, I would think that's so funny if that happened to me, and, but when you're a teen, you're so embarrassed. That happened to me one time, I thought a girl was talking to me. Spoiler alert, she wasn't, why would they be? She was talking to another girl behind me, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, and then I just ran face, head right into a pole. And she didn't even notice, I was that invisible, she didn't even notice some random kid hitting a freaking pole trying to talk to her. Here's me falling and getting extremely angry. I used to have such a temper. Don't hate yourself, people. This is amazing. I 
whatever reason, thought it was funny just to run by punching. And I fell into some fish tank, which miraculously didn't break. But, uh, yeah. That was a good clip. This is, these are so good. That had to be so fun. There's Garrett. There's Garrett's brother. Ninja kicking Resident Evil to destruction. All right, before you freak out, I worked here, and when we had to get rid of them, this is what we always did. Uh, you know, when like customers weren't there, and we had a blast doing it. The Stepford Wives. There's Ron. That's Chambers. That's like the Chambers that works here. Why? Do that on those steps, man. This is a, a public sidewalk, by the way. Keep this in mind. This guy at a stoplight decides, I'm gonna yell at you. Kill yourself. No, we're watching for cars. I'm, gonna, I'm stopping this board if it falls. That said, is. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm stopping this board if it falls. Well, up there, you tore up the, you tore up the steps up there. And then also, so he's talking about some other building that we're not at. And he's like, you did this. That's what he's like. He's like, you messed that place up too. It was like, we, we were on a public sidewalk at the moment. I didn't up do there. that. I didn't do it. Wait, wait, you think yeah, I, I went up there and tore up stuff? Yeah, oh, you hit your head. Okay. I don't know if you can tell you my, my friend. <laughs> like, the guy hit his head, like, because he's going in and out. There's some random guy in the backseat of the stoplight, and he's going in and out, and he hit his head, like, uh, on the top, and then my friend told him. <sighs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's just move on to Scott. To this day, he's like the greatest. That guy, Scott, is the greatest skateboarder in Cincinnati to this day. He's so good. Is that it? No. Here's a little skit. It's, it's, this is, this is completely cringy. It's supposed to be cringy. Um, and I believe it has him like, hurt, hurt. see I would never put a, a guy smoking a cigarette in. The, right, I don't know why he had that answer. idea. He was like, I'm gonna smoke and a drink. Uh, smoking is like the grossest thing in the world. So don't watch this video and think it's cool. But this is beautiful. When, when, I, when we watched the footage, we were like peeing our pants laughing so much. Like, that was, it was the best clip. It was the best dummy clip. I don't think I've filmed a better one to this day, and I've done that like little trick a bunch of times. So, that was, that was it. That was my first YouTube video I ever published 15 years ago. And uh, it's, it was a fun trip down memory lane. Like, I love those clips. It's kind of beautiful because like seeing footage of myself, like clearly like just living in the world of skateboarding. That's like what we did and hijinks and goofing off. And then now it turned into this. This is my skate park. And this is my skateboard company. Uh, it is just absolutely, wait, where can I get good lighting here? To this day, I walk into both these rooms and I just, I have that thought where like, I can't believe this is real. I've been doing it for a long time now. So many people, like friends, not my parents, my family was supportive. Like, people told me that skateboarding would get me nowhere and that there's no point in it, it's childish, don't do it. And to this day, being an adult that has processed all of this, uh, skateboarding has taught me how to get back up and try again and use failures to motivate me to do something better and bigger and, and grow myself. Uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful activity for any ages. Um, and the fact that it exists, like this is my, my, this is my skate company, Skate Shop, it's the shredquarters.com. The fact that it exists is all because of skateboarding and then people like you watch the video. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed going down the memory lane with me and uh, any, anybody who's supported Revive and all this, uh, I love you. So get out there, skate with your friends, be goofy, have fun, and enjoy life. That's it. But come back. I'll be, I'll be doing my part. I'll be, hey, Wow, that was a, a weird, abrupt ending. But, uh, you know, sometimes you gotta spaz out and mess up a clip and just roll with it. I'm gonna go eat Chipotle for lunch. I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.